All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be, I think, part five. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to airbrush or use an air gun to paint the inside of this and see how that works. This is kind of a thicker paint than I'm used to, but we'll see what happens. Might have to use some. Uh, Blades are broken.
Yeah, all right. So we got these all cleaned off. And to be honest with you, I was going to paint these silver. But if you see that copper in there, boy, that stuff is pretty. I might, I might sand on it a little bit, see if some more copper will come through. If not, I'll get some copper paint and paint mine copper. Which I think, I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. If nothing else, I'll get some copper. Yeah, it's just going to go silver. I'll get some copper and uh, brush that. And that's what I'll do. And I'll paint all these copper. Huh. That'll be a bad idea. Okay. I like that better. I just don't think that uh, chrome is going to do what I want it to do. So what I'm doing now guys is just uh, putting some glue on this wheel. So anyway guys, what I'm going to do is I've got some copper and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, lightly brush copper on top of this and the rest of my stuff I'm doing in copper my trim. So I think it should look alright, I'm hoping so anyway. And that just makes it stand out just a little bit. So you got a little bit of copper, copper highlights, and uh, it won't look so flat black. It'll give it some kind of little pizzazz. taking some stuff and put it in the storage. I'm running out of space over here very, very quick. So now what we'll do is These screws are green. Now put it here. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of copper on them. So they don't look so bad. Hopefully. All right. Then we can put some more other trim on. So I got a, I got the axles and stuff today, guys. So we might end up putting an axle together. 
Let's see if you can see me over here. So I've got a one inch pipe. I figure one inch is gonna be uh, thick enough to bear the weight because I still got plenty of casket stuff in here. So the ones I've been seeing online that other people's building uh, doesn't look like it's very long for a casket. So I'm not sure if mine's long enough or, or if it's too long. I'm not sure how people's doing theirs, but mine's a little bit long. This out. Do that right here. I don't know about catching that on there. So I got the trim, so I need to cut this out and put it up, paint it and stuff. We might paint it black, then we might uh, dry brush some copper on that as well. Just kind of give it some pizzazz. So let's do, let's do this. Let's do, let's do some uh, copper highlights. See what it looks like. So what I got is a brush. Most of them proper paint. So what I got guys is got a little bit of copper paint here. And uh this really isn't ideal for dry brushing, but we, we're going to try it right here. Right? Let's see what it does. Like I said, this isn't ideal paint for dry brush, but. in there. It's a little hot. It's all good. Let's see if you can see that. So that gives it a little bit of a highlight, guys, right there. Depends on which way you look at it in the uh, in the uh, light, that's how you see it. So we'll do the other side as well. Like I said, this is an ideal airbrush paint, but we can't make it work. Especially with no brush. This stuff dries super fast. So with this paint, guys, you gotta work fast. I think that'll be fine. So uh, we'll do the back end too.
All right, guys, there's the highlights on everything, except for the skull in front. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave him coffee. He's almost, he's almost uh, copper colored anyway, just from the coffee stain. That thing came out beautiful. I'll give you a closer shot up of that here in a while. But that's it right there, guys. That's the, the copper uh, dry brush on stuff. And that just makes a pop just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring the wood in. We'll cut this down and get this skinned and painted so we can uh, get that out of the way. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna just piece this lure on. Uh, it's real thin and smooth, and that's what I need to cover up that top end there just because it's so pieced together, it looks like crap. So we're gonna cut a piece of this and put it in there. Or that's the plan. So anyway guys, I forgot to hit the record button again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this piece up here and tack it. And paint I got an old table outside, got some beautiful uh, iron legs on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it here, we're gonna cut them legs off, and uh, that's what we're gonna use to put down the edge of this, and uh, we'll, we'll dry brush it copper as well. Yes, sir.
So anyway, guys, what I'm doing, since, uh, since my roof is rounded, I'm gonna cut some of these at an angle. Now, I'm not sure what angle that is. That's a way over 45, way over 50. So what I need to do is cut those and I'm gonna stick these on the ends. So I have some kind of decorative at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some more of these and uh, we'll tack them on there and, and uh, uh, put our pendulums on there. So I got two of them. We'll just, we'll just glue them and tack them up there. Then we'll stick our thing in there. I'm trying to screw it here. And once we get these on, guys, we'll paint them black as well. And we'll also uh, copper, copper dry brush them. That's okay with you guys. Let me get the lighter over here so I can get up in there. See anything I'm doing up here, so let me take y'all up here. Uh, let's see if you can see what it's doing. Uh, you can see that. Hopefully. Okay. Stick her on there like that. And what this is, guys, this is just making me a level spot so this will stay up straight. Because if I put it on there, it'll be way crooked. So we want it to look straight. So we'll go like this. Put it here on the end somewhere. Right like that, we should do. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna glue that down in case we need to take it off to put it in and out of garage or something. I hope you, hope you all saw that. So now we'll do the other side.
So there you go, guys. We did a little bit more copper. Now this metal is solid and it is heavy. It, it came off of a table. You all see me cut it. So I cut it off an old table and I thought it was just perfect for this kind of a, you see a lot of hearses, horse drawn hearses that's kind of ornate. So I figured this would, this would be perfect. That's what it looks like. So I wanted to share that. And that's down the inside, the sides of my hearse. Same way back here. Come on both sides. And oh, that's dirty. And there's on the side of the buggy. And uh, I put those on there on all four corners. So we got copper trim around it. If you come in front of the buggy, I put a skull on there. Now I didn't do no copper on him just because he almost is copper colored, that coffee collar. But uh, we put copper dry brush around on the sides, as you can tell. And uh, we're going to come back in and we're going to do those there in a few minutes as soon as they dry a little bit more. But there's the rest of the side. Dry brushed all that. It looks pretty good. Dry brushed that. Might be kind of hard to see. So what I'm trying to do guys is I need to make a flange for my wheel so it doesn't let it start any in and back and forth. And the best way I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out of this and I'm going to weld it onto the axle itself. And that way, because the axle is not supposed to turn, the wheel is. And I want it to be nice and tight so that's what we're going to try to shoot for. All right, guys, <clears throat> I got you down underneath here. Just ignore all the table stuff because it's uh, kind of deceiving of what's underneath here. But here's what we're doing. I'm gonna weld this plate on here and what that plate's gonna do is keep that from going back and forth, uh, the wheel back and forth. Cause that'll keep the wheel back and forth, but I need to keep this going back and forth. Don't we? Yeah. So, what we need to do now is 
take the wheel off, all that off, take the axle back out, put that all the way over here. So let's do that. So it's a lot of figuring out guys. It's not it's not easy to try to make sure your axles and everything doesn't go haywire on you. And everything's in your way here. So that's gonna be what's a pain in the ass. So right there we go. Like I said, this will go on like this. It don't have to be perfect. Basically what all this stuff is, is why it's so long, is the, the wheels will actually turns. And if you look at a lot of the movies, uh, these wheels aren't the stablest. You, you see them going back and forth in, in these old movies and stuff. So keep, keep that in mind. So what we'll do is we'll weld this plate here and that'll keep this axle from going in and out. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll weld another plate on the inside and that'll keep it from shifting back and forth and uh, all that goody goody stuff. All right. So. All right. Let's weld her up. Zoe's gonna, gonna watch me, make sure I get it right. Thanks Zoe. Uh, should be good enough. Let's see guys that'll keep uh, the axle from sliding back and forth so we need to do one on this side too. Uh, once we do on this side it's not going to go either way. So anyway, here's what we got. Now this keeps this from going anywhere. So we'll have to do another one out here for the wheel. So you'll have a total of four. And 
we'll drill some holes in this or something to keep this axle steady. There you go. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good so far. But that's how I'm doing it. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you're supposed to do it, but you know, I did whip, uh, wooden braces. Uh, I just did a wooden thing down, cut them, cut them, wooden braced it. So this here will keep it from sliding, the axle sliding out. I might have to come in here and put a brace. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, the whole thing. So I might have to put a brace from here to here to here. And I'll put a piece of tube of sticks across this and put a brace up and a brace up. And that'll keep these things here from wobbling in and out or walking side to side and collapsing on itself. But this thing is a monster. She's pretty heavy. She's heavier than uh, than I expected. Uh, this ain't a one man uh, let it go. I'm going to have a heck of a time getting it off this table. I'd have me four or five guys probably come and pick this thing up and pull the table out. So It's going to be interesting, but it's going to be fun. So I hope them wheels hold up. If not, we'll add another layer or something on it. All right, guys, what I'm doing I haven't got too far in depth with that back axle. So I had to put one of these plates here on the back side, on each side. And the reason I did that is so your axle don't go back and forth. Well, this plate here is for the wheel. So the wheel doesn't go back and forth because you don't want that wheel hitting up in here or underneath or breaking off or anything like that. So you want something smooth that your wheel is gonna set against once we get the wheel on here then we'll put something else out here i haven't decided what to do out here yet but uh, i know that uh, i haven't got to talk much about the the axles and stuff like that on this yet because i'm still trying to figure it out myself now i'm out of welding gas i can still weld a little bit so it's just going to be ugly but i'm going to attack this on there so we'll have it have it on there Try to tack it on there. So with that welding gas, your weld sucks. It, it spits and sputters, it looks bad, it doesn't stick as good, so but it'll be on there for whenever I go to put it on there permanently uh, when I get gas. So normally what I do is I don't put a whole lot of weld on the front because it's going to wear out your wheel, but in this case it'll be fine. There we go for now. And once once I get the gas, we'll re-weld this up. This is just gas pipe. So I have one inch gas pipe. These are, I think, uh, uh, shoot, I can't remember, uh, maybe a, a, a quarter of an inch uh, plate steel. 
Uh, you, probably, you don't need them that heavy. I just had them on, on hand. And the back's back here because, because your axle's not supposed to move. So I'll put screws in the backs. I got holes here, so I'll put screws in the back uh, or bolts to hold this to this. I'll also put, uh, let me see if I can show you a little better here. Underneath here. Okay guys, ignore this here. This is the, the table leg that this whole contraption is sitting on. So what I got here is just a screw in this hole. I'm gonna put some bolts in there and that'll hold this axle still. And the same way over here, I'll, as I'll bolt this axle to the wood and that'll just you know help uh, sturdy everything up. But there you go guys, that's how I got it. Mount to see how much movement you have in that axle and you don't want that because you want the want the wheels to roll. You don't want the axle to roll, in my opinion. I mean, if you want your axle to roll, that's fine, but uh, that's just me. But I'll put some bolts in that to keep the axle still. And that'll also keep the sway of this back and forth where it's not so detrimental. <laughs> and another thing is too, guys, if you look on the wheels. Now this is a bad example cause this is just a nasty wheel. But you'll know they got long things on there. That's what your axle rides in. And the same here, I only got one on this side and two on the other. That's all the room I really had to do. So I think it's not really gonna be uh, drivable or anything like that. I just wanna be able to move it from uh, storage to where it's going so there we go so you see once we get this out here i gotta find some kind of carter system that holds this wheel on or holds the plate on whatever i'm putting on there same way with the other side and uh we'll get these wheels painted get these screws knocked off out of the out of the wheel and uh but there you go guys, that's how you're gonna do it. And I think there's a, I think I get an eight uh, inch and a quarter, uh, shoot, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll try, I'll look for something more and I'll, I'll show you what it is, what I'm talking about. But I'll stick it on there. Then I'm thinking about drilling a hole or two down in the, the pipe itself and uh, making a wedge a wedge shaped piece of metal where I can stick in there and I can tighten that wedge up against this wheel however or the, the metal however tighten however tight I want to do that. I'm not sure yet. I, I've never made it my first go around. So you guys might have an easier way than I than I do. It's just the way I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Or I can just weld it on it. It doesn't matter. I can always uh cut the welds off and you know put something else on there. I just hate to do that in case I have to put a new tire on it, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, there it is. Not much you can see back here in the back. Kind of stuck. So so I put some uh, members underneath here for the axle to hold on to, and I had to put some screws, three inch screws in there, about six or seven up and down through there on each side. So we'll go back and fill it in and uh, paint that. So, oh look, okay. I, I got a bunch of painting to do in here. I don't know if you can see in there, but I'm missing paint there. I'm missing paint up and down that. I'm missing paint there. Yeah, oh well. Alright. Guys, there's the horse. I, I tore down most of my facade today and put it in storage. And there's the horse. I gotta get him next. But once I get the welding, guess I gotta finish the welding on there. 
And what I did, since he's front heavy, is I put these two pieces of metal out there and I'll probably put two short ones in the back because right now I've got a uh, wheel hub holding the weight down. So I'll just put a couple pieces out back there so it'll spread out the weight kind of evenly and, and let him stand and it's not gonna stick out like a sore thumb. We'll paint that up black and stuff. I wanted to show you that. So you're not thinking I'm not doing nothing. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. I know a lot of it is probably too much to register. It's real hard for me to show you what I'm doing and uh, explain it to you because sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going on a wham. Uh, I did overbuild this thing a little bit. If you want to uh, have something heavy, this is part of the way to go. But uh, I I'm trying to use uh, mostly 3 8 plywood, two by three, uh, two by two by three by eight foots, and uh, like some metal. This metal stuff is really heavy. Uh, I'm trying to make sure it's kind of durable because it's going to be outside for you know a couple months during the the season during the Halloween season. Uh, beefed up the three quarter inch piping on the rear end and stuff like that. Uh, it's one sheet of plywood per wheel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you. Uh, Give me some of your time and liking the videos. And we always appreciate you and our new subscribers. Man, that, that really, uh, I, I really appreciate that. Uh, but if you want to, go ahead and hit that like button on these videos that you watch. And that'll show uh, uh, YouTube that uh, I'm a halfway decent fella and you kind of enjoy the stuff that I'm building and you want to see more content. And you, and you want other people to see the content too. Uh, share the video. But yeah, we appreciate everybody watching guys. And like always, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just build it guys. Uh, if you got any questions, comments or anything like that, put them down in the bottom and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. And if I'm over in this garage, my server sucks over here. So it might be a little bit to get back to you but I'm usually over here almost every day, especially in the evenings or, or every chance I get working on something, taking stuff. Right now, this is my main priority. I need to get this thing done. It's a pain in my back and my hind end, and I'm ready to see it roll. I'm ready to put it on a trailer. I'm ready to put the horse behind it. I'm ready to see it do something that's set in this garage all hidden. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video.